All right, brother, if you want to learn how to get over your ex fast as fuck, this video is for you. And yes, fast as fuck, because the faster you get over it, the faster you can move into your power. And, and nobody wants to sit in a pit of worrying about their ex and who she's with and what she's doing and who she's texting and what the fuck happened and trying to get answers and her avoiding you. Nobody wants to be in that place. And you can get out of that place within a couple of weeks if you do what I tell you in this video. I don't care if you've been married for 15 years, the process is the same. And I know something about this because I've had over 3,500 guys go through the Broken to Badass program, and this is kind of my specialty. If you want to learn more about that program, the link is in the description below. Let's get started. My name is Ed Baxter, and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayal to Badass program, and that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. Look, it is normal to be heartbroken after a breakup. It is normal to have this feeling of shit. What's, what am I gonna do with the rest of my life? What am I gonna do without her? That's normal. What's not normal is staying in that pocket. And so the problem with this is, is that guys won't cut off contact. So if you sit there and you're with your woman and you keep like pulling on her, hey, what's going on? What's going, I just wanna know why you broke up with me. And, blah, blah, blah. and a lot of women are really nice. And what they'll do is they'll leave you stringing along for a while, thinking that they're doing you a favor by letting you down easy, slowly over time. But for a guy, it fucking kills them. And so you try to get all these answers from her and she's never going to tell you the full truth because she doesn't want you to know the full truth because it'll make her look bad. It'll make her feel bad. She'll want not to hurt you as much or she doesn't want to tell you the whole truth of the situation. There may be another guy. She may have just not really liked you to begin with. You might have been her backup plan. You might have been not as attractive as she thought you were. It could be any number of things that she just doesn't want you to know, mainly because she wants to save herself the mental anguish of having to look at you in this sad pit. And so for you, you need to cut off contact. You don't need to talk to her. You're not gonna get the closure you want from her. It's not gonna happen. Stop asking her friends. Stop reaching out to her family. Stop talking to her parents. Stop looking at Facebook. Stop looking at Instagram. Stop stalking her slightly all the time, trying to figure out what's going on, who she's talking to and what she's doing. All that shit's just gonna make you drive you crazy and it's gonna make you like the stalker guy and you're gonna get real weird about shit. The best thing you can do is get some self-respect and stop trying to figure it out from her perspective. She's not gonna tell you. Just listen to guys like me, we'll show you exactly what the fuck's going on and this way you can move forward and get your closure and clarity without her input. Because again, she's not gonna tell you the truth. It's never gonna happen. Step two, start focusing on what you want. Start focusing on where you wanna go and how you wanna build your life. Most guys, they end up looking at this woman like I built my entire future in life around her and what we're gonna do and how we were gonna get there and now she's gone so I don't know what to fucking do with myself, especially after like 30 years of marriage and this is the problem. You're going through a mourning process and the mourning process is the idea of you with her. And so this is a real thing. You're actually mourning the death of a future that you had with this person, an identity. A part of your identity is actually dying. This is a good thing because that identity was probably had a lot of codependency attached to it and that needs to die. If you want to get back with this woman, this has to break. You have to break the pair bond. You will never get back with a woman unless you fully break that pair bond and you learn how you got yourself in this situation to begin with. Because if you don't break the pair bond, then next time you get together, you're still defined by all your old problems. But if you can break it and then you can go address your problems, then when she comes back, you can actually look at her objectively and evaluate what actually needs to shift. You're going to see her objectively. Did she actually work on all her shit? I worked on mine. Did she work on hers? And if you both did, you'll be able to have great conversations and closure surrounding your old relationship. And now you have the opportunity to spark a new honeymoon phase. But if you don't do this, and you're still stuck in the past with the old thing that's still the old pair of bonds there, you're never gonna be able to move forward with power and conviction like you want to. This is why when marriages try to get back together, they're still defined by all the old bullshit. Because they didn't actually make the separation, the shifts, pivots, and growth necessary to actually reignite a new pair bond and have healthy conversations and closure and clarity around what really fucking happened because it's so emotionally charged. And so you have to focus back on you. Stop focusing on her and all the shit she's doing and focus on what you can do now to move forward and start handling your pain moving forward. What needs to shift in your life? Focus 100% on you and take all your mind off of what she's doing. None of that shit's going to help you. All it's gonna do is make you obsess more about how you can try to manipulate her and get her back to being with you. She doesn't wanna be with you. That's why she broke up with you. So stop trying to convince her to be with you. This is ridiculous. Every time you do this, it just drives her further away because she doesn't wanna be with you. She's trying to demonstrate to this to you over and over and over and over again, but you're not taking her seriously. And so when you don't take her seriously, all this does is tell her even more that you don't really care because you don't listen to her. And also that you're weak and have no self-respect. You keep chasing after somebody who doesn't want you. 
which then kills her attraction because you're demonstrating you don't have any self-respect. And again, her attraction to you is by demonstrations of power and dominance. If you are not demonstrating that you are powerful and dominant in your life because you are chasing after somebody who doesn't want you, you're going to kill any attraction she had left for you, and you're going to come off with no self-respect, and you're really just hurting yourself. And so when you're in this pit, this pit of despair where you're trying to get over her, you're like, well, I can't stop. I keep having these compulsive thoughts. I just keep thinking about her all the time. Like, it's, like, it's, a, it's like it's the first thing I wake up with, and it's the last thing before I go to bed. And so you have to start learning some techniques on how to break compulsive uh, thought patterns, like the NLP letting go technique, or maybe some releasing work. And once you learn how to do this, you'll start to get some agency over your own thoughts and, and mind. Until you can do this, until you start really building up your own emotional resiliency, it really is going to hurt you in all your future relationships. Because if you have no emotional resiliency, if you can't compartmentalize properly, if you can't focus on what you want to focus on and your mind is driving into compulsive patterns of thought, then when you get into another relationship, your woman's not going to be able to see you as a rock. She's not going to be able to feel your solidarity and that you are actually in control whenever the shit goes down. And this is a bad thing because in that situation, when the shit's going down, you're going to be all over the place emotionally because you can't properly compartmentalize. You can't shift your focus to stop compulsive thought and learn how to calm yourself, your nervous system down. So how the fuck are you going to calm her nervous system down when she's acting like an unhinged maniac because something happened, like one of your kids is in the pool and they might be drowning and she's freaking out. You're not going to be the guy to react properly. Or if like you're in a dangerous situation, you can't stop an attacker because you're freaking out just as much as she is. Or maybe you run off trying to protect yourself, leave your wife, which happens all the fucking time. Guys just react to things. They're not seeing what's actually happening. And this is because they have no emotional resilience. They have no emotional self-control. They haven't trained themselves. They haven't trained their mind and steeled their, their wits in order to be able to be the context and container for a healthy relationship in order to be the rock. So when she gets upset, you're fine. You're cool. You don't make it about you. You're strong in yourself. And so if you keep doing this, having all these compulsive thoughts, you can't control your mind. Just realize that this is a symptom and a function of you not being dominant in your life. And your woman sees this, and this is also driving her further away. Part of the problem with the breakup is guys keep lamenting the good times. Oh, we had such a good time and all this stuff. And I just wish we could get back to that place we were. And they forget the reasons why he didn't like her to begin with. Like the guy just pretends that like, She's this amazing person and forgets that she did all these terrible things like lying to him all the time or even cheating on him or like his family didn't like her and his friends didn't like her. And he forgets all these things because he's like rejection breeds obsession. So he gets these rose colored glasses about her. It's very important to like actually see the woman that's been in front of you. Most of the time, a woman who breaks up with you, there were some serious fucking problems. But don't sit there and think that, you know, she was perfect too. And it's easy to get in this place of victim who's like, she was perfect, I'll never find any better. And you just put yourself in this pit, which is kind of stupid thinking. It doesn't help you moving forward. Think about what actually serves you. What would serve you is actually looking at her objectively. Was she actually as good as you think she was? Is she actually the kind of woman you want? Is she actually like your perfect woman? Or are you just making her out to be because of rejection, once again, breeds obsession? And you'll most likely find that she wasn't a good match for you if you just look at the situation objectively. And so keep reminding yourself of this. Keep reminding yourself of what it is you actually want. And one of the things that you shouldn't want in a woman is she doesn't like you back. That should be number one, I would think. So keep reminding yourself of what you actually want in a relationship and stop tying it directly to her. The last point I want to make is focus on what you're going to create instead of what you lost. And this is good for any kind of situation. If you sit there and keep just lamenting about what you lost, you put yourself in a victim place because you can't change the past. If you can't change the past, then all it does is put you in this place where you've given all your power to the past. And so if you want to be able to go forward, you want to think about your future and what you're going to create and make a commitment to creating that, that gives you power. That gives you control because you can control what happens in your future, but you can't control what happened in your past. And so what I tell guys normally is like, if you're worried about your woman leaving you, why don't you make a commitment to find somebody better? Why don't you make a list of all the qualities that you really want in a woman and go after that? Instead of sitting here like lamenting why she left you and there's a lot of reasons why she wasn't even a good fit with you and sitting here in this place and wallowing in your pity and doing stupid think, why not just say, you know what, I'm going to make a commitment to find somebody better. I'm going to make a commitment to find a woman that's fucking awesome and I'm going to have it or I'm going to fucking die trying. That gives you power. That's what I did. That's why I was able to have the kind of relationship that I have. And I'm married with two children with her and we've been together almost 10 years and it's stronger than fucking ever. But if you want to have that, you have to make the commitment to finding somebody like that who has good foundational materials so which you can create soulmates with. Again, soulmates aren't found. So you can stop the stupid thinking about, oh, she was the best one ever, she was my soulmate. No, she fucking wasn't, because if she was, she would have broken up with you. She's bad foundational material. 
Good foundational material will stick with you. She will create soulmate situation with you. And you have to create that. They are created, they are not found. And whatever the Disney fantasies are of this, this is not true at all. You have to create this situation with your woman. It requires a lot of dominant behavior and a lot of self-love and a lot of, I'm gonna fucking have this no matter what. So you got a little taste of my coaching in the Soul Seduction or the Broken to Badass coaching programs. If you wanna know more about those, go to the link in the description below. I'm a little bit spicy, I'm a little bit straightforward, and I love coaching this way, and I love coaching guys like you, help you stand into your power. I don't get angry for you if I have to. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna show you exactly how to move forward as fast as possible, and I'm really fucking good at it. I am the guy in this space. So if you wanna learn how to get past a breakup, move forward, create a seductive life so you can seduce your wife or seduce your soulmate, go check out the link in the description below. If you like this video, Hit the like button if you want to see more like it. Obviously hit subscribe, my brother, and I will see you in the next one.